JP here. We shoot a lot of video at the edge of space. One of the more exciting things we've shot is looking up at the balloon bursting right above the platform at 100,000 feet. A few times while flying at the edge of space, we've caught on video one of our platforms seen from one of the other platforms. But only once have we caught on video one of our balloons bursting at the edge of space as seen from a completely different platform off in the distance. It happened on one of our away flights. Now these are combo flights we do, usually carrying the student payloads, commercial payloads, our own research, and five to six cameras. The vehicles that were in the air at the time were away 104 and away 105. Now these vehicles may operate at the edge of space, but they start out on the ground. Go, 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 go! Okay, okay. Hold the hold. Forward, forward, forward. She's away! The video was shot from Away 105 looking at the Away 104 vehicle. The balloons were about a quarter mile apart when it happened. Take a look. We are aboard Away 105 watching Away 104 enter the screen on the left. Way 104's balloon just burst. Now, a little closer and a little slower. And there it goes. Pieces of the balloon are still there, giving a ghostly outline of the balloon. You may be wondering if while Away 105 was videoing Away 104, was 104 looking back? The answer is yes. <laughs> Yes, it was. It didn't see the burst, but one of the other cameras with a bit better resolution snapped a picture just before the burst. Why do this at all? Why the dual launch? You know, there are a lot of work, and we run the risk of the vehicles crashing into each other. Well, there are two reasons. The first is completely practical. If you launch them together, they land within five miles of each other. Easier recovery. The other reason is that we're practicing to do this. These are two lighter than air vehicles at the edge of space. The big V is the ascender and it's approaching and docking with the floating dark sky station. out, a lot of the challenge is around the logistics of getting two vehicles in the air at the same time. Each time we do this, we get a little better. We're already working on the bump mission. This is where we have one of our small V airships approach and bump a balloon at the edge of space. A simple goal, but you need to start somewhere. Okay, back to the present. After burst, Away 104 did one slow roll before deploying its parachute and heading back to Earth. Away 104's balloon burst at 100,000 feet. Away 105 went on up to over 106,000 feet before its balloon burst. Be sure to hit that subscribe button below. It really helps to keep us flying. Thank you for watching.